reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. Many people have set out to write accounts about the events that have been fulfilled among us. They use the eyewitness reports circulating among us from the early disciples. Having carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I also have decided to write an account for you, most honourable Theophilus, so you can be certain of the truth of everything you were taught. When Herod was king of Judea, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order of Abijah, and his wife Elizabeth was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all of the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive, and they were both very old. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple, for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife Elizabeth will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. And he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. So what stands out the most to me is when the angel said to Zechariah, don't be afraid, for God has heard your prayers. And oftentimes we doubt and think God has forgotten about us. It's tempting to go back to worrying, to being frustrated at God, or to complain about our situation. But this proves that God does listen to our prayers and is faithful when the time is right. So I had a quick look at the meaning of the names in the verses. And Zechariah means the Lord has remembered. And I used to think that if I don't say the prayer often enough, then God may forget about it or I may cancel it out. But clearly he remembers them. Elizabeth means God is faithful. So trust in his words and his promises and he will make a way. He knows the right time and also what is right for you. And sometimes it doesn't come packaged the way that we imagined, but have faith in God because he knows best. And finally, John means God is gracious. God's left us with the Holy Spirit, our helper and comforter, a gift of God's grace. It's comforting to know that he resides in you at salvation and that John was also filled with the Holy Spirit as a baby. Therefore, we can ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, give us direction and give us boldness to share the gospel. So when you write down your prayers, just note that God remembers, God is faithful, and God is gracious. God bless.